Hi everyone, this is Professor Bowen Moore. Uh, this video, we're going to make us another selection um, in, the, in taking a selection out of the background. However, in this you know, demo, sometimes we work with images where it's a little bit less contrast between the foreground and the background or the positive space and the negative space. There may be extra texture in the background or the edge around an object may be a little more complex like hair or fur. Um, so we wanna have a, a slightly different process. And in, in older versions of Photoshop, we would have had to use a selection tool and literally manually uh, go around every little bit of hair and it would take absolutely forever um, to do that. But in the newer versions now, they give us a different process and it's much, much easier. So I'm going to show you that now. Um, so I've selected uh, this layer. We've got a little dog here, a um, little cute dog named Daisy. And we are going to, again, choose one of these selection tools. I'm going to choose this uh, quick selection tool. And what we want to do now is select um, in your control panel, select select and mask. And that's going to give us a properties window over here. And it gives us different view modes. Um, gives us onion skin. And don't ask me why these names are <laughs> designed this way. Not sure about that. Marching ants, not sure about that. Overlay on black, on white, black and white, on layers. Um, I'm going to select overlay because that will allow me to really see when I select the dog to separate it from the background. Um, so I'm going to select that first and I'm going to go up to my selection tool here on the left. And notice I've got a plus and a minus. I'm going to make sure I'm in the plus. Um, so that I can actually select. And again, if, um, if I want to make my uh, selection brush bigger, I can click my right bracket key on my keyboard or left bracket key to make it smaller. So I'm just going to hold down my trackpad and just kind of go around and start selecting um, as much of this dog as I can, it will automatically pick up some of these edges. I'm going to select in here. Um, and if you, and you will notice that it in some areas it selected more. Um, and so I'm going to hold the option key down. And so if you look in your control panel up here, when I select the option key or press the option key, it'll switch to the minus. And so now I can go back in here. I'm going to make my brush a little smaller. And I can go back here and go in and take away some extra things that it selected. Um, some of this down here with the bedspread. So little areas like that. And now we can refine this even more. So what I'm gonna do now is go back over here to the properties panel and I'm going to uh, go back into my view. I'm gonna go to black and white. Um, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow me to see what areas look harsh, and what areas might be kind of gray that I need to uh, modify or take away. And um, I'm also gonna come down a little bit and I'm gonna click on smart radius and select the radius to be about 40 pixels, somewhere around there. And you can see now the gray area is even more. Um, so now I can hold my option key and you know, take away some more gray areas that might be a little much of a selection. And I can also come in now with my uh, selection tool 
refine edge brush tool. I call this the hair brush. Um, so I will select that. Now I can come in and if I have any harsh areas, I can add some softness to those areas. And then I'm going to press my option key and take away with some of the areas that I need. And you can see that looks pretty good there. Um, might be a little bit sharpness here. That looks pretty good. So now um, what we want to do is scroll down to the bottom of the properties window and um, where it says output to, um, you have different selections here, layer mask, new layer, new layer with layer mask, new document. We want to select new layer with layer mask and then click okay. And as you can see, now it's taken the background out and we still have Daisy here um, and with her edges. And if you want to, and you can see it's in a new layer, we see our other background layer which is the original image. And just to show you what we can do here, if we want to color this background, I can create a new layer. Um, I can bump that layer down below the image of Daisy here. And I can go up to edit fill and use color. And let's say we want to make it a nice pretty blue. So now you can see Daisy on top of a color. If we want to, you know, take this image and put it on top of another image, then I would drag uh, this layer with the layer mask um, into a new image. And this, you know, Daisy without the background would be on, inserted into another image. So those are a couple of, um, other ways that you can um, crop an image, you know, an uh, object out of a background um, that has more complex edges and um, will help you refine that in a more efficient manner. So if you have any questions about any of this, shoot me an email or let me know. Thank you for listening.